As the summer heat kicks in, a cool down sure sounds nice, but you don't have to wait until fall. Six on your sides, Karen Lair takes you about 130 miles southeast of Boise and 100 feet underground to explain in tonight's Idaho Backroads. As you're driving past on Highway 75, it might not look like much out here, but underground is actually one of the state's longest known lava tubes. History here runs deep. About 24,000 years and 100 feet underground. This lava tube is actually about four and a half miles long. The attraction is easy to miss, about 16 miles north of Shoshone, but worth the stop for a quick history lesson about the land before our time. These are our life sized figures of the Cordelian people. These guys can be dated back about 16,000 years. The ice cold tunnel, now visited by 12,000 tourists a year, formed thousands of years ago by underground eruptions from the nearby Black Butte volcano. If you look on the wall, you can actually see four separate eruptions. As the tall tale goes, the cave was discovered way back in the 1880s by a young boy looking for his lost goat. But at the time, the mouth of the cave was only about two feet wide and 14 inches tall, and there was a 10 foot gap back into the cave. But other than this, it was completely filled with ice at this point. The town of Shoshone quickly got word of the underground ice and blasted open the entrance to make room for horse and buggies to haul out the goods. They were taking ice from here all the way to the Oregon coast on the railroads for ice boxes. But when they blasted this wall, it did disrupt that airflow. So hot air was getting in too quickly and the ice actually began to melt. By the 1940s, the natural wonder was ruined, but a new owner who took over in the 50s worked to restore the cave's cooling potential by building man-made walls to trap in the icy air. Each year, the ice replenishes, now in some places 17 feet thick. There's currently about 300,000 tons of ice in our cave. Now, even if you make this trip during triple digit heat, you're going to want to bring a jacket with you because temperatures in the cave stay below freezing year round. Fun fact for you guys, Shoshone was the first town to have ice cold beer all year round. We actually won nation's coldest beer in the early 1900s. Around that same time, Olympic ice skaters would actually hone their skills in the cave lit by lanterns. At the time, the suspension bridge wasn't here and the rock fall hadn't happened yet. So if you can imagine them just having the entire cave to just play and practice and bring their lanterns down, and I think it's really neat. With just a two hour drive from Boise, put it on your summer bucket list and check it out for yourself. How many people can say that they went from 110 degrees in a lava field down 100 feet into a 28 degree cave? Now they do offer tours seven days a week throughout the summer through the end of September. But before you hit the road, just give them a call and they'll let you know what times they're heading out for the day. Reporting in Shoshone, I'm Karen Lair, six on your side.